Okay, we're gonna start on it on one at pull guard, right? Just starts build up my game from there, but and then my opponent surprised me with a knee cut pass, right? So the big mistake I'm gonna uh, uh, a lot of people does they try to shrimp out, they try to hip escape, but the person so attacked to you. I'm gonna show one very powerful escape to recover, and then since it's connecting chain, my next chain of connection is gonna be a sweep. I just don't want to recover, 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 and then my partner keep passing, right? So I'm gonna pull guard, he surprised me with a knee cut pass, and then I'm gonna rebuild as a chain of connections and then a sweep. So let's take a look. So I'm gonna be right here. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pull guard, right? So I'm gonna pull guard right here, right away, my partner is slide through and he cut pass right here. Big mistake I'm gonna show you here. A lot of people, he has my arm connect and he has my collar. What I'm gonna try to do here is hip escape, but it's not gonna work because he spinned his arm, even if I have the collar. A hip escape, hip escape, so I gotta work, okay? Instead of a hip escape, go back here, my chains of connection is gonna be from here. Keep the collar grip, now I'm gonna sit away from him. So you can stay heavy, I'm gonna sit away. Since Matt has, move this way, since he has a very strong base on the mat, it's gonna be easy for me to hip escape, now sitting guard. Okay, so let's take a look again. Come this way. So I'm here, I'm gonna pull guard, hip cut through. Now I'm gonna right away, I build up on my elbow. Now use my feet to scoop back. Now Matt's gonna build up on the knees. Yes, move this way, Matt. So now from here, I want to do is since I have this elbow, I came up from here, he's still holding my collar. What I want to do it. Control the elbow. Now a very, very easy sweep from here and powerful. I pull Matt into me because right now Matt's hip is right behind the knee line. Okay, so what I want to do here, I want to drag, I want to drag Matt's hip forward right there. Now from here it's easy to knock the base down and pull the elbow at the same time. That's it. And then I can use butterfly hook or I can just go into mount and finalize in mount as my last move, right? So, whoever, keep this in mind. I'm gonna remind you all that all this, uh, in all this structure, whoever does the last move wins the battle, okay? I initiate the move, he surprised me with the, pa the pass. And then, if I accept, he will do the last move and then the fight maybe will finish there. So, he passed, I recover, and then I swapped him, okay? So, let's take a look again. From here, elbow control, collar. I'm gonna pull guard, he slide through, come up, right away in your hands. If he stays here, heavy on his hip, I could literally inverse like this. And it sounds very silly, but happens so much. When I'm here, he's wanting to drive without coming up on the hip. Now, with my legs, I can literally switch and then finish on top, okay, as an option, okay? But now I'm gonna move up, move it away, he rebuilt. Right away, I pull him sideways, knock the base out, and I finish him out, okay? So, I always wanna end up as a last move, okay? That can be an offensive or defensive, okay? So, just keep that in mind. Every time someone surprises you, there is always a way out, as long as you understand the principle of grips, frames and then go from there, okay?